Hello there, how are you doing? This is Yin Kao Joy again on Guy Talk. I celebrate those of you who have just become new subscribers. Yay, yeah, thumbs up to you. And I also want to welcome those of you already subscribers. God bless you. I want you to make sure you like these videos. Once you like this video, it helps YouTube to pick it up and spread it further. Also, if you've not yet subscribed, subscribe right now now it's free so when you subscribe you are helping us to reach our goal of 2,000 subscribers this year we can do it all right then let's get into this all right I want to talk to you today I've titled this as your soul prospers as your soul prospers there's a scripture that shows that our soul which contains our mind has a large part to play in how how much of the of, of the Christian work we enjoy in the face of the earth. Listen, God told the children of Israel, He said, I want you to enjoy days of heaven on earth. Days of heaven on earth. So the plan of God is that we enjoy days of heaven on earth before we go to heaven. The word of God says, as Jesus is in heaven, so are we in this world. Jesus taught us to pray. I'm giving you three scriptures now. Jesus taught us to pray, thy kingdom come on earth, that will be done on earth. How? As it is in heaven. All of that shows that God wants you and I to walk in victory while here on the face of the earth. But our mind, the condition of our mind, of our, of our soul is very important. You are a three-part being. You are not just a one-part being. You are not just flesh. You are a three-part being. You are a spirit. You have a soul and you live in a body. All right. Your spirit and your soul live in this body. When the spirit and soul leaves and vacates the body, that is when a person has physically died. So, but your soul is made up of your mind, your will, and your emotions. Your mind is very important. So sometimes God will talk about your soul and he's talking about your mind. For instance, there's this scripture in 3 John, the second verse. 3 John has only one chapter. Third John, near the book of Revelations, the word of God says, Beloved. So this is talking to us, children of God. We are the beloved of the Lord. He has made us accepted in the beloved. Beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in health. This is the Lord speaking to Apostle John to us. So we can say this is the plan of God. God is saying, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health. Even as your soul prospers, in other words, there's a condition there. You, God wants you to prosper. God wants you to walk in health. But there's a condition. I always tell people, the promises of God do not just happen automatically. The promises, the plan, the will, the, the good agenda that God has for you will not just automatically happen in your life. There is always a part that we have to play. There is our responsibility and many people do not understand that. This scripture is one of those scriptures that show the responsibility of a child of God. In order to attract wealth, in order to attract health, this is the plan of God but you have a part to play. You must make sure your soul prospers or your soul or your mind is developing. How does your mind prosper? Your mind prospering in renewal. You must renew your mind with the word of God. That's how your mind prospers in God's sight. When you replace your old ideas, your old ways of doing things, your old pattern of thinking, you change them and your mind gets cleansed. Your mind gets renewed. Your mind gets conformed to the mind of Christ. Uh, your mind, your life will automatically begin to attract prosperity and health. So, if you look at your life and you feel, I need to get better. I need my, my body needs to be healthier. I'm battling with this sickness and disease and challenge in all these parts of my body and you want to change. First of all, you must renew your mind to the word of God. What does God have to say concerning healing? That Jesus by his stripes we have been healed. What does his word have to say about healing? He heals us of all our sickness and our diseases. What does God's word say? You find out those and you begin to think and position yourself in it. 
you look at your life and you find that you're always in debt. You're always in scarcity. You're always begging and borrowing for money. That's not the plan and the will of God for our lives. So if you want that to change, angels are on standby waiting for you to give them the signal. What is the signal? You begin to renew your mind. You change what is going on in your soul. Your soul begins to prosper with the word of God. Cleanse your mind with the word. Change your thinking and you will change your life. That is what God is saying here. As your soul prospers. That is how wealth and health will come from God into your life. Well, I want to hear your comments. I want you to like this video. Don't forget that. Share this video. Subscribe if you've not yet subscribed. I'll continue again in my next video. Until then, this is Jinkao Joe saying peace.